Okay, I just want to demonstrate really quickly how to create custom dashboard and custom reports in Google Analytics. So on top of the report, you see this customization. Click on it, click on dashboard, click create. So you have two choices. Start a dashboard, give you a variety of widgets you can add or delete or edit. Uh, you can choose a blank canvas to just build it from ground up. So let's uh, create one for new user session. And click on the blank. And because it's blank, so the first uh, window pop-up will be add a widget for your first widget. So. Uh, the first one, I want to add a new user session map. And click on the geo map. We can choose the metrics to be sessions. And we can choose uh, for the future down this data to be containing only the um, shows only the new users. So user type contains new and save the widget. And so it will display a map with their sessions created by the new users. Uh, we can also edit it after we created it. So for example, if I don't want this filter anymore, I want to include all the users. I can just save it, save the change. And now you can see more. The number is more number of session now because we include all users. So let's add another widget. It's a timeline widget allows you to compare two different metrics. So let's compare um, conversion versus bounce rate. And so this time we're going to click timeline and add the conversion rate e-commerce and the second one we want to compare with the bounce rate. You can also add a filter. So I already demonstrated that. I'm just going to add straight up. So you see two lines along the time showing the changes of the number of two metrics. So this, this way you can find out if two metrics are correlated to each other. Next, I'm going to demonstrate custom reports. Uh, so to create one, click on the new custom report. Uh, so you can name it however you would like to. I will just leave it as it is. And uh, here is that you can create multiple metrics groups. So let's create one for the behavior. And we want to add some metrics that related to the user behavior, such as pages per session, uh, session time on page, uh, and bounce rate. Etc. You got the idea. And then next, I can add one more metric group. For example, I can add conversion. And then I add the metrics uh, related to the conversion, such as e commerce, conversion rate, and uh, maybe something about the shopping cart. So we can do product as a card as a micro conversion, and something else about the uh, cart such as product removed from the cart, et cetera. You got the idea. And then I add a dimension. Uh, where do I want to look into? So if I do um, interesting in the source of medium, I do medium first, and then I can further drill down to uh, in that medium, what source is that, for example. And you can add multiple ones. So save, and you'll be able to see um, that data uh, in a graph and also in the um, data table. And so where are your metric groups? It's on top. By default, the first one shows behavior and you can see the behaviors. Um, this is the dimension, first dimension that we chose. And then you see the behavior metric groups, metric, page, possession, time on page, bounce rate. And then the next uh, metric group is the conversion one. And you also see the conversion metrics we added in e-commerce conversion rate, product as uh, cart product move to cart and for the dimension drill down and you can click on the medium and to further see uh, where this organic traffic come from and uh, because our time frame is very uh, small so it's likely just from Google right uh, obviously it's the Google 
products and so people use Google to come to the site and now we have more because um, I made the date range longer and so for both dashboards and custom reports um, you can the idea is that to change the users can change the date range to see more information uh, at any time frame they would like to see but the configuration is here so that they can see the information they care about really quickly. So that's the idea of the custom dashboards and custom reports. They provide more value custom to the business needs and different from the default reports over here. That's it.